Hey, y'all don't have to sit on the ground, y'all. Unless you've been arrested for a crime. Yes, I am. I don't answer questions. I'm a part of it. You're dismissed. Hey, stop interfering with us, man. We're, we're, what's your name and badge number, sir? What's your name and badge number, Ginger? We're trying to do a job and you keep interfering with us. You stop obstructing my job. Man, you should shut your door. Lock it. You don't want you don't want them going in your car. I'm not interfering. That's not interfering, man. You need to go to the law library. Stop going to the gun range and go to the law library. What's going on, everybody? This video took place on Thursday, June the 30th on the west side of Fort Worth. We noticed this traffic stop, or what appears to be a traffic stop. Turns out this car only had a flat tire. This was a family, a couple of women, and several children. These cops had this family separated like criminals, had the kids sitting on the ground, kids crying. It was ridiculous. When we showed up, it changed the whole dynamic of the traffic stop. These cops went from being terrorists into being Uber drivers and concerned citizens immediately. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Enjoy the video. See you later. Why is he holding? Hey, you know you don't have to give him permission to search that car. Car look like it's wrecked, man. Goddamn tires. Oh, the tires busted. Look at that. The tires busted, y'all. Tire came off the rim. Man, you should shut your door. Lock it. You don't want you don't want them going in your car. I'm not interfering. That's not interfering, man. You need to go to the law library. Stop going to the gun range and go to the law library. It's written in the penal code that speech is not interference. All right, I know more about the law than you do. 38.15 says speech is not interference. Plus the city of Houston versus Hill, the Supreme Court ruled my speech is not interference. Try again, smart ass. It doesn't. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. If you didn't say nothing to me, I wouldn't have said nothing. How dare you speak to me like that? I'm just mad because we're telling her what her rights are. If you have any more questions about the law, just ask. I'll let you know. Just don't let it happen again. That's sad that the police scare little kids that bad these days. Hey, stop interfering with us, man. We're, we're, what's your name and badge number, sir? What's your name and badge number, Ginger? We're trying to do a job and you keep interfering with us. You stop obstructing my job. Sir, just stop trying to obstruct my uh, camera view.
more of them over here. Two more. Look at this shit. They got these kids sitting on the ground. Hey, y'all don't have to sit on the ground, y'all. Unless you've been arrested for a crime. Yes, I am. I don't answer questions. I'm a part of it. You're dismissed. They do not have to sit on the ground. Y'all are violating their rights. It's consensual. Y'all don't have to sit down. They're violating your rights. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves, man. That's why kids now are scared of y'all. When you guys show up, kids cry. What law is that? Don't come any closer. Are they legally detained? Why are they sitting on the ground like dogs? Y'all can stand up. For real. They're violating your rights. No. Like me, I don't want my face on either. It's too bad. Go home. Go home. Then you should stand up. Stand up. Get off the ground. You got this cop standing over you like he's being dominant. Trying to act like he's your friend. Those kids have been intimidated into submitting. Sorry, I told them what their rights were. They don't want to listen. They're scared of the police. That cop's over there cutting up with them, cracking jokes, acting like he's their friend. These cops are not your friends, y'all. These cops are not your friends, man. I don't understand why they got those two kids over there sitting on the curb. close up of his face. Looks like he's on something. Taking any drugs tonight, bro? Acting kind of weird, dude. What kind of pills you taking, man? Oh, that's going to make a great thumbnail. Put you right on the cover, dude. You signed up for it, buddy. That's what you signed up for. This is kind of excessive for an accident. Hey, when we showed up, they had that car door open. It was halfway in the car. Yeah. I told that lady to shut her car door. Yeah. That's what happens when you get in an accident nowadays. They separate your whole family, make them sit on the ground, treat you like criminals. Those two kids over there are so scared to death. Hey, don't let them search your car. Don't give them permission. We do this all the time. They go play drugs. Yeah, do them. not give them permission to go in your car. Roll your windows up and lock your doors. Very smart. Oh, this guy's trying to get back in our car. He's like, just leave him unlocked so I can snoop around in here later. Look at him sticking his hand in her car. I wouldn't.
Your back window's down too. Hey, your back window's down too. Oh, your back right window. There. You're welcome. Hey, are you guys gonna be okay? We gotta go. Don't let them search your car. You're welcome. You're welcome. Are you sure y'all are okay? Don't let them search your car. All right. You're welcome. Hey, uh, check out my YouTube. Let me give you a card. Cody, hold this real quick. Let me give her a card. I grabbed a few cards. How you doing? Yeah, we really <laughs> got to go, but we, we don't we don't want to leave y'all hanging. Y'all y'all got a ride coming? Yeah, we do. There you go. All right, we're gonna check get me out, out here. too. My name's uh, that's Harvey Freeburn. This is what happens when you get a flat tire in Fort Worth. You get eight cops show up. They make your kids sit on the curb. They separate you. Make your kids cry. Did they say they were bringing a tow truck? I don't know what's going on, Cody. If they tell that's going to be another two hundred dollars at least. Yeah, you got to lock it. You can just leave it here till the next morning. Take all right. The off the place. That's all you got to do. You got to call a tow truck so the police can make money off that. All right, the vehicle's locked up. She's got her stuff. They're out of here. We're out of here. We got Joe Cool waiting on us down the road. We got to go get him. Where's she going? Are they taking her to jail? No, they're taking her home. Oh. We don't put her in there like that. They cut off. All right, no, it's like that. Let's secure the car. Hopefully, she gets detained. Are you getting arrested, man? No. They're just taking you home. All right. There's no doubt that we changed the outcome of what was going to happen here.